Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe, it's me, Yansa. This is going to be an all signs reading, who is coming towards you, okay? This isn't it for singles, but couples, you may find messages here as well. Remember, these may be predictive, could have already happened, could be happening now. Only take what resonates. You guys can text me to book personal readings. You can also email me to book a personal reading. You can like this video. That's the free way on how to support this channel. And I really appreciate your love and support. You guys have already done your June monthlies. This will be from Leo to Cancer. We're starting with Leo. Um, and let's jump into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Return to sender any and all negativity. Close our doors when the negativity sneaks in. Ancestors and guides of love, protection, light. Keep me safe. Ashamed. No open next one. Just Michelle Prosper. We're starting with Leo. What's coming towards you, Leo? We have the moon, five of cups as the overall energy. So Whoever is coming towards you, this person could be a cancer or they're sad and confused. Okay, this person is sad and confused. Clarify the moon card. They could be a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. A lot of water. A Pisces. They're trying to listen to their intuition, but they're like, they don't know what to do, where to turn. Clarify the moon and the high priestess. It could be a Pisces. Ten of Wands, this person has a lot of burdens. So I feel like the reason why this person is coming towards you is because they're leaving something heavy, leaving something burdensome. So the person coming towards you, they could have had a lot of, they could have a lot of baggage, the person coming towards you. Clarify the Five of Cups. The Ace of Wands, they want some fun, happiness, they want a new spark. They feel like you're very stable. I feel like this is why they're coming towards you. The Queen of Cups was about to come out. I have had the Five of Cups and the Ace of Wands for who is coming towards Leo. The Sun, it could be another Leo. So what I'm seeing, and then the King of Cups. So we saw the King and Queen of Cups, y'all. So this person could be another Leo, Pisces, Cancer. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries. This person coming towards you, they want to release this baggage, release this burdens, get out of feeling sad and come towards you, their happiness. They want to come towards you. It's fun where you're at. It's peaceful where you're at. Clarify the Seven of Cups. The world card, it could be somebody at a distance from you. Nine of Pentacles, you look hella good, Leo. I feel like this person is coming to you. They're single now. Clarify the Seven of Cups in the world. Knight of Swords, yeah, I've been all around the world. I've searched high and low. I've tried this and I've tried that, but it's nothing like the Leo. Okay, who is this person coming towards Leo? Six of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, someone who wants to grow with you. You might have this person blocked. Eight of Swords, they've been stuck on you. Yeah, this person, this could be someone from the past. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Three of Cups, they want a reconciliation. So this person might be messaging you. Yeah, they want to take a leap of faith with you. Here's the King and Queen of Pentacles right here. So, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone you um, might have history with. It don't have to be an ex, but I feel like whoever this person is, they've been through hell, they're stressed, they're tired, and they're coming towards you because they might need some good Leo energy. It could be a Virgo. The person coming towards you doesn't have to be a lover. It could be an old friend. It could even be your brother or sister. You told them this would happen. You tried to tell them, hey, don't do this, don't do that. They did it anyway. They learned their lesson, and it's like they're coming to you. They they need a hug. This person needs a hug. This person needs some love. They've been through hell and high waters. So this person is coming towards you because they need some love. Okay, take that how you want to take it. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, or a Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. Okay, tell me more about this person coming towards Leo.
Okay, we have attraction. They're very attracted to you. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yeah, they feel like you just, you enjoy life. You're a ball of life. You enjoy life. They're attracted to you. Okay, so somebody could be attracted to your energy. So be careful of low vibing people attracted, attracted to your energy. So be careful of that. All right, moving on to Virgo. Okay, who is coming towards Virgo? King of Pentacles, it could be another Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Ten of Pentacles, a lot of money, so your money is increasing. That's what's coming towards you. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. What's coming towards you is an Earth sign, a promotion, increase in money and pay, or um, overtime. You get to work more, make more money. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Clarify the, yeah, the Hermit. This is you, Virgo. So I'm wondering if, for some reason, your stability has been up and down, on and off. You could have lost the job. You could have tried to become an entrepreneur. But there's a, a reset that's coming, the judgment. You're going to be able to renew this. Okay, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, the hair thing, yeah. You're going to be able to renew this. Okay, so you could be renewing a lease, renewing a contract renewing your vows a marriage something like that clarify the seven of pentacles the ten of cups yeah your family it could be a family reunion so what's coming towards you is your family reunion is coming up or someone is having a baby i also hear it's someone's anniversary of their passing okay clarify the eight of pentacles Four of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. We got the Star and the Queen of Wands coming out. And then the King of Wands at the bottom. So here's a match right here. So what I'm seeing is... Virgo was coming towards you. Clarify the Four of Swords again. Why is the Four of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles? Okay, you want things to be fair. You want things to be easy now. You've thought long and hard about this and you worked on yourself. So you want to reunite with this Leo or what's coming towards you is this Leo. It's going to be balanced. It's going to be fair. I see marriage coming towards you. Six of Wands, Spirit of Cups. It could be a reconciliation, a reunion. I see communication, the truth. So what's coming, so what's coming towards you is Virgo. I see a connection coming towards you. King and Queen of Wands. I also see um, an opportunity to talk things out with someone if you need to clear the air with someone. I also see an opportunity for you to show this person the new you. Vice versa, there's an opportunity for this person who's coming towards you to show them their new and improved self. Others of you, there's the brand new person who you will. I see marriage with an Aquarius, Libra, Leo, Cancer, Taurus, Capricorn. Could be Pisces, Aries, Sag as well. Um, but I do see a lot of money, a lot of time and investing in work, traveling, and a relationship. I see brighter days ahead for you too, Virgo. I see victory and success with the Six of Wands in regards to your career, family, and this relationship so i see overall goodness overall yeah the four of wands could be with the pisces could be reconciliation as well i see the queen of pentacles queen of cups six of cups i thought i saw the king of cups too so i do see matches coming out here's the queen of pentacles with the king of pentacles i see pairs coming out I feel like this could have took a while. I feel like you had to really think about if you even wanted a relationship or not. Okay? You get love, money, and the family's good. This is what I see. 
okay? There's a chance to rectify something if you lost something as well, Five of Pentacles. Who's coming towards Virgo? See, I told you marriage, wedding. I told you. I see marriage coming towards you, Virgo. I told you that. And it fell, it fell out. It fell out. Okay. Who's coming towards Virgo? Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind about this person. The person coming towards you may differ from your usual type and expectation. Okay? You might have had to wait on this person for a while. We have worth waiting for. So this person could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Leo, Libra, Cancer, Taurus, Capricorn. Moving on to Libra. What's this? Um, who's coming towards Libra? Who's coming towards Libra? Okay, someone coming to give you a love offer. Someone very beautiful, attractive, and sexy. They could be coming to your home to try to woof, drop that thing off. Wow. With the Queen of Wands right above the Devil card, this person probably has great sex great sex but i feel like there could be something toxic about this person let's see clarify the knight of cups for who's coming towards libra it could be a cancer pisces scorpio the empress wow your baby mom baby dad someone very beautiful abundant okay clarify the knight of cups and the emperor i'm sorry the empress the emperor might come out then two of cups you are in love with this person who the person coming towards you could be someone you will have kids with. You could be reuniting with your baby mom. The person coming towards you could be you um, clearing the air with your mother as well. Clarify the queen of wands. Because some of you could have fell out with your mom because you chose to be with this queen of wands. Or this woman. Some of you could have fell out with your mom because you chose to be with whoever, this, whoever you're dating. Clarify the queen of wands. We got the world, queen of pentacles, temperance, and the six of cups. So you're a woman and you like women or you're a man and you like men or whatever you like. Clarify the queen of wands. Three of cups. Yeah, you you like what you like. So what's coming towards you is a lot of fun. I see sex. I see travel. You could get pregnant as well. A lot of victory. You're in a lot of people's faces. I see endings. I see beginnings. I see heartache. And I see you healing again. So I see a cycle of you know, just the highs and lows of life. Clarify the four of wands for who is coming towards Libra. It could be you, another Libra. An opportunity, things being made right. I see you purchasing a new home, getting a new apartment. You getting approved for something. Clarify the nine of cups. The hangman and the nine of wands. Okay, so your happiness or something is going to be stalled or delayed. Clarify the nine of cups. Two of Wands. Yeah, it's, something is going to take a little longer. This wish fulfillment or the satisfaction might take a little longer than expected. There is a delay. Clarify the Devil card. Five of Swords. Because of an argument, something is going to take longer than expected. So what I'm seeing is I do see love coming. I see opportunity for a relationship. This is the person coming towards you. But somehow... As soon as this person comes towards you, I feel like another person comes towards you. you we have the Queen of Pentacles. And then we have the Queen of Wands. So you're going towards this fire sign, but somebody from the past comes back. And so maybe you have things that you need to figure out. Because... I feel like in the end, you might just want to be single. In the end, Nine of Pentacles is the end. The end of the spread. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Yeah, you want to enjoy your options. So what's coming? who's coming towards you is someone who might not be too serious. Um, I do see an opportunity for love, growth, expansion, a child. 
but I see multiple people. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. You, uh, what else could be coming towards you, Libra, is two jobs, two opportunities, having to choose between two homes. I see you choosing, but for some reason, your happiness or your wish fulfillment is delayed. So this could be a warning to you. This person that's coming into your life, make sure you choose correctly because your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment is delayed. And because of that, I feel like you might have chose wrong. Father Swords, conflict and defeat, which ends up being the devil. Something ends up being toxic and you just want to be single in the end and explore your options. Okay, so I, I feel like you might know what I'm talking about. Just use your intuition because... If you have to choose between two people, two jobs, or something like that, please choose, right? Because if you don't, you you will regret it, okay? But other than that, you won't you won't regret it too long. Nine of Pentacles isn't a bad card to end off with, okay? You can be dealing with the Capricorn, Virgo, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini. Libra, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, who's coming towards Libra? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Someone is trying to love you, trying to get you to open your heart, things like that. Scorpio, who's coming to us, Scorpio? The devil could be a Capricorn, a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, someone who wants to reconcile with you. They're stuck on you, but this person is toxic. Three of Pentacles, this person could um, be entertaining multiple people. They don't tell you how they feel underneath this cold detached exterior they do love you they're coming in for a second chance they want victory and success with you it could be an aries leo sag someone you had waited on for a long time clarify the devil and the three of pentacles nine of pentacles yeah this person is selfish okay they don't share they don't open up they're all about self. They're all about themselves. The person coming towards you, if you know who they are, they're still selfish, okay? Clarify the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords. The Moon. Yeah, they don't tell you how they feel. They have a lot of secrets, a lot of lusty energy as well. They're coming up as pages. Clarify the Judgment and the Ace of Cups. Four of Cups, you might turn them down. They could be younger than you. Who's coming towards you is someone immature, okay? Yes, they are single, but I don't feel like they have the emotional capacity to care for you, be emotionally available to you, and actually know how to be in a relationship, okay? Who's coming towards Scorpio? Five of Cups, yeah, exactly. This will be a lover, but I feel like this will also be a lesson, probably just a test, especially if this is a past person, okay? Five of Cups, Two of Cups. Nine of Wands. Ugh. I, I see potential for y'all to actually be good, be happy, but for some reason, if your intuition is telling you not to trust this person don't because i don't feel like this person is going to be open with you they're not going to be honest with you they're not even going to be able to um fulfill you emotionally they're not going to be able to they just don't have it in them they just don't have that thing that you need in a relationship they don't have the communication there are no swords here they don't have the passion the only one that's here is the nine of wands okay like they just don't have it to sustain the relationship. It may start off good. They may have good qualities and good traits, but it's it's just a no. It's a no for me personally. 
We have the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands, 999 may be important. Who is this Scorpio? Okay, yeah. So this lesson may turn come up as a lover. It's a lesson, maybe possibly. May um this person may be coming in to help you be more emotionally available or some shit. You can be dealing with the Cancer Pisces, Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn. Who's this person coming towards Scorpio? Who's coming towards Scorpio? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So, clarify honeymoon. Trust. Yeah, this person is going to be asking you to trust them. You may feel like you're in the honeymoon phase with them and then it might all turn to shit, okay? So, yeah, trust your intuition is what I'm hearing. Don't let this person put you in the honeymoon phase, especially if they're not honeymoon material. Okay, Sagittarius. Who's coming towards Sagittarius? Okay, a relationship. Wow, this is beautiful energy. So this person may be at a distance from you. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. Here they come out the blue and a lot of victory and success okay so i see a cancer scorpio fire sign earth sign coming towards you i see this could be long term the four of wands represents a relationship it represents a reason to celebrate so what's coming towards you is a reason to celebrate a raise pay increase stability the family being good good news okay i do see manifesting your ships to come in What's coming in for you, who's, what's coming towards you, or who is coming towards you could be a cancer, someone coming um, from a distance, traveling towards you, you two going out of town together, clarify the tower, you don't expect this, you don't see it's coming, it could be a Scorpio, out the blue, yeah, Queen of Wands, they sexy too, sexy, yep, out the blue, yep, where this shit come from, yeah, the lovers, see that? Yeah, Eight of Wands, a lot of fast energy. Be careful. This It might move too fast. You don't see this happening. You don't see this coming. Yeah, slow the sl pump, then breaks. Okay, use your intuition. Pump, then breaks. Because I feel like as soon as they come in, they leave. Look, the Knight of Wands, as soon as they come in, it might end. If you want this to be long-lasting, <clears throat> eight of cups five of wands where did shit come from really get to know this person take your time take it slow who is this sagittarius yeah it's you don't let people um rush you fastball you take your time and if they're not trying to go at your pace fuck them they're not for you because you're getting opportunity after opportunity so what's coming towards you is your dating relationships reason to celebrate i do see you um being courted i see you dating multiple people i i see um you enjoying it it may be bittersweet some may end fast some may end slow um what is coming towards sagittarius who's coming towards sagittarius five of cups what the fuck Five of Pentacles, yeah. It's so I, I see a short lived connection. I do see a short lived connection. I see you having fun. I feel like this is a pick me up from spirit. So what's coming who's coming towards you could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Oh wow, look at this. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. So as soon as this thing ends, you you get your relationship. So I feel like who's coming towards you with somebody preparing you for whoever this is. This Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay? All right. Who's coming towards Sag? Who's coming towards my beautiful, wonderful Sagittarius? I feel like this person coming in, this fast person, yeah, it could be your ex. Release your ex. As soon as you pass this test or as soon as you get done dealing with this person, it prepares you for your union, whoever you're really supposed to be with. 
who's coming towards Sagittarius. Your soulmate, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay? You could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sash, Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer. All right, this is for Capricorn. Who's coming towards Capricorn? A Libra. Someone wanting to make things fair with you because I see someone wanting to reconcile. Yep, Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. It could be two people. Yeah, look. The Knight of Pentacles is coming with the Ace of Cups. The Knight of... I'm sorry. The Knight of Cups is coming with the Ace of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles is coming with the Ace of Pentacles. It could be two people. An emotional offer, a stable offer. Clarify the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Seven of Cups, a lot of choices and options. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Six of Wands, victory and success. So pick your poison. This is just tarot. Do what you want to do. I feel like I would go towards the earth sign. Sun, moon, rising, Venus is victor here. The water sign is kind of like, you know what the seven of cups means. It means confusions, options, needing to choose. Clarify the seven of cups. Six of cups. Ooh, yay, yay, yay. You're going to choose the past or you're going back to the past. You're confused about the past. So you're going to have, so who's coming towards you is a past person and a new person. Clarify these six of wands. And do you see that? Look, the six of cups, six of wands, six, six. Clarify the six of wands. Page of wands. I don't know. I just, this just feels more fresh to me. Who's coming towards, who is this? Capricorn? King of wands. Okay, sexy. Clarify the King of Wands. Never mind. Fuck all that. Why is the King of Wands coming out with the Three of Swords? Clarify the King of Wands and the Three of Swords. You have to choose. You don't. Whoa, the Queen of Wands. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, now. You want, so what's coming towards you is you could, this fire sign, this Aries Leo Sag, who you feel like is your soulmate, your divine counterpart. But I feel like what's coming in between you is there's multiple people. You could possibly have to choose between two people. Okay. What's in between the king and queen of wands and why? Three of sword, uh, three of cups, I'm sorry. People. I, I said it. It's, it's people. You have people to choose from. What's coming towards you is two new opportunities. Who is coming towards you is two new opportunities, Capricorn, with someone from the past, someone from the um future, a new person. Also, it don't have to be anyone from the past. I feel like also other of you Capricorns, the two people that's coming towards you is two new people. One is your soulmate or one is your counterpart and the other one is not. Okay, could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Libra is the only major that came out. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <sighs> Who's coming towards Capricorn? Who's coming towards Capricorn? Someone you have a lot of passion for. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay. Aquarius. Who's coming towards Aquarius? An Aries could be coming towards you. Who's coming towards Aquarius? Didn't I say Aries? Look at that. 
the four of wands, a relationship. Okay, be patient. Yeah. <laughs> I like this because I feel like this person is going to get to know you first. The judgment. This person is very intuitive, psychic. This person, like, is very in tune. So if you, if there's something off, if there's the slightest thing off, this person will kind of, like, try to figure out what's going on, why. And this person will communicate with you and talk to you. What's wrong with you, Aquarius? So this person is an asker. They like to ask a lot of questions. This person will always try to figure out what is going on, what's wrong, how are you feeling, um, why do you think that way why do you think this way okay who is coming towards aquarius someone who is very patient a planner a big thinker nine of swords uh, what did i say they overthinking overthink a lot it could be a leo you could be dealing with an aries pisces aquarius scorpio sagittarius pisces who is coming towards Aquarius? Seven of Swords. What is this? They get in their head a lot and I feel like they overthink a lot of things and they always assume the worst. Clarify. Not clarify. Tell me who's coming towards Aquarius. Six of Swords. Wow. Okay, so I feel like the person coming towards you is someone who has you stuck in your head, very stressed. I feel like the person coming towards you could be a long distance relationship. If not, this person really makes you get in your feelings. Like you, the way you feel, you haven't felt this way in a while. If you haven't been in love with anybody before, you're going to fall in love with this person. If you haven't um, had the need or want to, ever pick up the phone and call somebody you're going to have the need and want to pick up the phone and call them like you're going to be thinking about them a lot you're going to be always wondering what they're doing wondering what they ate today asking them how they slept you know stuff like that you're going to be wanting to check up on this person and i think that scares you a lot because you like them you start caring for somebody so who's coming towards you is someone you start caring for and you get scared when you start to care for people or vice versa they get scared when they start to care for people it freaks them out it makes them scared and it makes them move weird and move different so they don't get their feelings hurt and i feel like this might make you want to create distance it might make them want to create distance because we have the hangman the high priestess and the six of swords this is all distance energy who's coming towards aquarius Nine of Wands, exactly. Oh, shit. Four of Swords. King of Swords. It could be another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I also feel like... Two of Cups. Five of Cups. Two of Wands. You don't see a lasting with this person. So, the person coming towards you is somebody you just don't even see it lasting with it's going to be something about this person you don't like or something about this person you don't trust so somebody's why are they coming towards you aquarius justice nine of pentacles king of pentacles it's to help elevate you in some type of way you go from the nine to the king so i feel like the reason so whoever this person is could be a lesson coming towards you aquarius they're going to help elevate you they're going to um, push you forward trigger you into elevating or something like that the reason why this person is coming towards you is to get you to start listening to your intuition and being content with what your intuition is telling you listening to your ancestors okay that's what i see because i see you wishing you would have listened to yourself as well you meet them with the pisces um virgo taurus capricorn libra pisces pisces very strongly you could be aquarius pies you could be dealing with the sagittarius scorpio aries pisces aquarius sagittarius 
Yeah, we got a three of swords. Exactly. Mm. I don't know. I would avoid them. Oh, because the other message I was getting was the person that's coming towards you is um they they play a lot of games. I don't know who it is, but whoever yeah, they play a lot of fucking games. Okay, who's coming towards Aquarius? Healing family issues, someone who needs to heal family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This person may not have forgave their parents. They may not have even released their ex. If this is your ex, this is just spirit telling you release your ex. Exactly, reconciliation, release them. So who's coming towards Pisces? Could be a Scorpio, a renewal, restart. Who The person coming towards you, they could have just ended something. Now they're coming towards you. Yeah, they they just ended something and they're coming towards you. It's a Leo. Scorpio. Aquarius, Taurus. Who's coming towards Pisces? Someone. Mm, coming. Yeah, they're coming towards you. They ended it and they're coming towards you. They have they never let you go. This is somebody you know. The Wheel of Fortune. They want to go another round with you. They want to go again with you. And one more again. They said unblock me. Now. Now. Unblock me right now. This is a trickster. Nope. Hell no. No. Hell no. It's somebody in your family. Somebody's coming towards you. Who is this? Someone someone in your family or someone you have kids with or family with. What the fuck? Clarify the seven of swords. It's a pentacle. So this part, okay. My bad. Damn. So this is someone you have kids with or will have kids with. There is someone who wants to reconcile. But I feel like. What's the outcome? What's the potential outcome? Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords, Page of Cups. The, the potential outcome is actually okay. Why do I don't get no good feeling from this though? I don't know why. We have good cards. Um, what's this feeling I'm getting? I'm not gonna dig if it ain't there. Page of Swords, the Hierophant, Four of Wands. The hermit. Okay, so clarify the hermit. Nine of Swords. Okay. Clarify the Nine of Swords. The Sun. Stressed about happiness. Four of Cups. So that's the feeling that I'm getting. I don't. I don't really know how to explain this. So the person coming towards you, for some reason, they have depression or something. Or they have multiple personality, dis like borderline personality disorder. They have, they have a mental illness or something like that. Yeah, with the moon too. I feel like this person, this person is also indecisive on if they want to be with you or not. I get a lot of confusion around this person. Like I'm literally confused. There's so much confusion on these cards. The person coming towards you could be very confused. There, I'm surprised the devil didn't come out. A lot of confusion. Page of Cups. The Fool. The Star. A lot of good energy. Three of Swords. Nine of Wands. The Emperor. I feel like they look great on paper, but the more I pull, we got the Three of Swords and the Nine of Wands with the Emperor. They could be very controlling, very domineering. Because I'm, I'm literally confused. We have a lot of good cards coming out. But this feeling that I'm getting, the feeling that I'm getting is not right. Something is off. The person coming towards you, they look good. They smell good. They look good on paper. But something is off, Pisces. That's all I can tell you. You could be dealing with an Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, 
Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Leo strongly, um, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra. You can be dealing with anybody. A Gemini. Who's coming towards Pisces? <sighs> Passion. Aquarius just had this. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Someone who is very lusty. And then we have separation at the bottom of the deck. Maybe an X or something like that. I don't... I'm confused, Pisces. Um... Aries. Who's coming towards Aries? Seven of Cups. The Magician. This person does magic. They cast spells. Whoa, shit. They're traveling towards you. The person coming towards you has some type of weird... Yeah, they do, they do magic. They have some type of weird fixation on um, dominating people. They have some type of weird fixation on dominating you, tying you down. Five of Wands. Nine of Wands. Yeah, if you get with this person, you will not have any freedom. They like, so the person coming towards you could simply just possibly like BDSM. It could be something as simple as that. hair fence, the world, uh, the empress. Okay, this could be your baby mom, baby dad, someone you have kids with, someone who is returning into your life. Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Six of Cups. Yeah, it's someone from the past returning to your life. They're a sadist, they're a narcissist. Um, they're using the children or something like that to keep in contact with you, to tie you down. The person coming into your life, if this is a warning, the person coming into your life, don't have kids with them. Um, don't sleep with them unprotected. I don't give a damn how much you think you in love. I don't care. This is a pregnant woman as well. So this pre so the person coming into your life could be a pregnant woman coming in to stress you the fuck out. Especially if you're a man. Who is this? Aries. Okay. Nine of Swords, stress. King, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Arguing, hating each other, a lot of stress. It's weird because the King and the Queen came out right after each other. So both of y'all is on the shit. Both of y'all. Clarify the King and Queen of Swords. Four of Wands. Yeah, y'all both on the shit. Y'all both on. Yep, both of y'all. It's both of y'all. The person coming towards you is the same old motherfucker. They ain't changed. Okay? Same old shit, just a different day. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Libra, Virgo, Gemini. This person is a shit starter, and they like starting shit with you. This could be a new person, okay? They like to start shit. I'm getting somebody, their name is Craig or Leroy. <laughs> Who's coming towards Aries? Heart to heart conversation. Yeah, this shit starter wants to have a heart to heart conversation with you. They play too much too. Okay, y'all gonna have a conversation. It's gonna start out fine, and I feel like y'all gonna end up with an argument. Who's after Aries? Taurus? Who's coming towards Taurus? Seven of Swords, Three of Swords. Oh my goodness. Temperance. Somebody who you've been waiting on for a long time. This All this person do is break your heart and make you wait on them. 
okay, you need to move on from this person. They're on the same bullshit. You'll heal it with this person again just to end up your heart being broken. Um, don't fuck with them. It's a it's a Scorpio. It's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Aquarius Libra Gemini. Aquarius strong. Libra Gemini. The majors that came out is Sagittarius Cancer Aquarius. Do not fuck with them. I'm not clarifying anymore. The tower came out. Don't fuck with them. Okay? Any new person coming in? Is there a new person coming in? Who is this? Taurus? Tell me about the new person coming in. The sun. It's a Leo. Go towards the Leo. Strength. So the thing is about this Leo, y'all both are very stubborn and y'all both have really, really, really big personalities. Y'all could make it work if somebody just fucking submits. No one wants to submit. Okay, here we go. King and Queen of Cups. Bring more. If you, if y'all just be more loving, it will work. If y'all are not loving and y'all having a standoff or who can hold back the most fucking contest, no, it will not work, okay? So it may take a lot of effort with this Leo. If you're down for it, they're down for it, okay? You might have to be the bigger person a lot of the time, Taurus, okay? You're dealing with the Leo or someone with Leo in their chart, okay? Give me a timeline for when this Leo is coming in or this new person. Queen of Pentacles. When you walk away. When you walk away, work on yourself, use your intuition, heal yourself. Yeah. You got a lot of endings and changes that you that's coming into your life. And then this person will come in. The person that's coming in first is whoever you need to avoid, actually. Okay? I have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Capricorn. Oh, shit. Who's coming towards Taurus? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Maybe someone you need to not interact with and run away from. Okay? Get out of town. Get away from this person. Let go of control issues. Someone could be controlling. Flirt. flirt. And then we have... Uh, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this person... Okay. So I'm getting... Avoid whoever that is. You need to avoid. Use your intuition. Let go of control issues. Don't try to control the situation. Start flirting around with new people. Because very soon, okay, clearly decide what you want. If you ain't clearly decided what you want, you will keep attracting your ex. Okay? All right? I, I do see it happening. If you do get back with your ex or whoever, do what you want to do. Forget it. Do what you want to do, okay? Just do what you want to do in life. Shit. Do what you want to do. For those of you who know it can work out, just let it work out. For those of you who know it ain't going to work out, stop trying to bump your head on the same wall. That's it. Okay. Who's after Taurus? Gemini. Who's coming towards Gemini? Happy birthday, Gemini. The moon could be dealing with the cancer. Eight of Cups. This person walked away from something. They walked away from you or something. Okay. <sighs> mm -mm. No, can't. Uh, who's this? Gemini. No, Gemini. Don't fuck with them. They have baggage. Clarify the moon. Death. Yeah, they have baggage. So they're still in that phase of ending or starting up again, okay? And if this is an ex, no. Just no. Nope. Hell, no. Do you see this? No, no, no. No. Okay, Gemini, no. Who's coming towards Gemini? I do see a new opportunity with the Leo. 
but the stuff with this cancer or the scorpio no no okay the seven of cups nine of swords who's coming towards gemini i, I see two people yeah judgment not at once so i do see you having the opportunity to reconnect with someone okay what's gonna happen if they reconnect with this person three of cups page of pentacles six of cups yeah seven of swords a lot of holding back no okay it can work but it's gonna take uh, it's going to take a lot of time because there's a lot of holding back, a lot of avoiding and things like that. And I see it being a lot more casual than romantic, okay? If you reconnect with someone from the past. What about a new person? What if this new person coming in? How is it going to play out with this new person? Okay, so honestly, it's gonna be it's gonna be work with the new person too. Shite, yeah, yep, eight of pentacles. It's gonna be work with the new person too because I feel like there's still a lot of holding back and avoiding and ghosting and drama and being very immature. So I don't know if this is you, Gemini, needing to be more open and vulnerable and not so avoiding. You're very aloof. So I'm wondering if this is just the reason why these outcomes are coming out is because of some behaviors that you have, okay? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Libra, could be getting pregnant, Capricorn, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo. So you got, you got options coming in towards you, Gemini. It's all about how you handle yourself I'll do another one for you since it is your damn birthday who's coming towards other Gemini's Knight of Wands a Sagittarius okay a sex based connection with an Aries yeah mm -hmm. you're getting a summer bay yeah summer bay Yep. Okay, that's what I see. A sex connection, a lot of passion, communication with someone older, possibly, or you could be older than them. Someone very well established, a boss. You'll be traveling, having vacations. Um, yeah, I see you having fun in this connection. Okay, with a Libra or an Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Who's coming towards Gemini? Okay, release your ex and children. So, someone who needs to release their ex or someone who has children. All right. Last but not least, cancel. coming towards cancer okay someone who thinks a lot they're stuck in their head they have feelings and emotions but i feel like they may not be too expressive they're very patient yeah and when they express their feelings they come off very small okay clarify the eight of swords why is this person in the eight of swords for cancer three of swords you broke their heart they're heartbroken if you didn't break their heart they're still healing from something from their past Yeah, it's you. It's you. So, you can have kids with this person. If you don't have kids with them, this person has been trying to heal. Yeah, slowly but surely heal, come back towards you. They got a lot they want to say to you, too. They have a lot on their mind. When they come towards you, they're going to have a lot on their mind. They need to vent the world. It's been a while since you talked to this person. They miss you. Nine of Cups. They miss laughing with you. 
talking with you. I hear y'all used to drink, smoke, chill. It could be a friend. Eight of Wands, I see communication. Someone is coming towards you. They want a brand new beginning, yeah. With the King of Pentacles, the King and Queen of Pentacles. Someone coming towards you. It could be a new person. They have things that they're healing from from the past. When they meet you, when they meet you, the King and Queen of Pentacles, your soulmate. Right here, Six of Cups, the soulmate. There, it's like a healing connection. You're going to heal this person. They're going to get out of their head. They're going to start being more emotionally available. They're going to start um, learning how to be more open and vulnerable and loving and giving you gifts and kissing on you, um, giving you hugs. I see this person rubbing your feet, making you laugh. I see this person bringing you dinner as well. So I feel like this person who's coming towards you, you're going to give them a reason to want to give again. You're going to give them a reason to want to be open and vulnerable again. If not, this person is doing this to you. This person is going to give you a reason to want to love again. Okay? It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, an Aquarius, a Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. Okay, who's coming towards Cancer? We have codependency. Okay, and then we have love yourself first. So I feel like you're teaching this person how to love themselves again, okay? This person could have used to being codependent. This is all I have for y'all. I love y'all. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Like, share, subscribe. Check the description box. Leave a big fat thumbs up. Donate to the channel. You can text me and book a personal reading. You can email me and book a personal reading. Until I see you again, check out your June monthlies. Check out all of the All Signs readings. Y'all be safe. Bye.